I am back after what seems like months and months of not being on YouTube, but we have a very good reason today to be on the YouTube. We have finally made it to Ecuador. So Aaron and I have been traveling around um, Croatia, Turkey, a little bit of England since the whole COVID thing happened and I had to move back from Australia, but I'll get more into that. We've had an absolute nightmare today because I booked the flights with British Airways and then with Liberia. So, the British Airways flight then got delayed and then our luggage, we just didn't have time to go and get our luggage and put it on this flight. So, we've been waiting around. None of ours is here. But the bloke over there says, Hopefully we can have them by Sunday. I hope so because I'm wearing just a full-on tracksuit. We have ended up at some cheeky hostel for 22 quid. Not bad. We got some Netflix and a cute little bathroom. So we didn't want to stray too far from the airport because hopefully our bags come back on Sunday. But it's been a long, like, 14 hours of travelling, hasn't it? <laughs> so, we're gonna just get some pizza, get fed, have a good sleep, and hopefully Iberia, Liberia, whatever they're called, will come back to us with our bags tomorrow. Good morning from Quito, Ecuador. <laughs> This is our cute little hostel and we are now on our way to an Airbnb that we booked for a week so fingers crossed that's nice and I have also had word from Iberia that they've got our luggage and they're going to send it on a flight on Sunday so fingers crossed Sunday or Monday I'm going to have some clothes because right now this tracksuit and uh, this hair needs a wash and some doing but yeah, I'm pretty happy to be here, it's lovely. <laughs> Minor hiccup, we got in a uh, Uber to our new hostel and we have just been dropped in the middle of absolutely nowhere. It's like Favela Central. And a little rabbit in here. Hi mate. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, you're cute. This is the terrace. So we may have just found the coolest R&B in the whole world. Welcome home. Check it out. So, come through here. Daddy. Just a tree in the middle of it. Some funky, funky artwork. A little bar going on. Incredible. There's the views. Come around here into our college little garden. Oh, the rabbit knows me now. Hiya! Hiya, cutie! Rest of the views. Yeah, this is our little outside area for coffee. And welcome. Our humble, most exciting abode. So we got the kitchen, lovely colours, a little table here, views that way, views that way. I just love the colour in this place. Incredible. Little downstairs bathroom. Now nah, this artwork is just so cool. Got Amy, Red Hot Chili Peppers, ACDC, some sort of like old artifacts going on. That's an old school Apple computer, people. All these artifacts. Pretty decent sized TV to watch on the couch whilst Aaron makes me a drink in the bar. Oh yeah! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take you upstairs. It's so cool, isn't it? Look at 
Okay, so upstairs, more artwork. I can't even get it all in. It's just insane. Let's get that from a better angle. Cool as. And this is just a little spare room for any guests. Oh, black sheep. Cool. Little guitar and balcony. The colours are just so cool. And then, oh, a little artwork studio going on here. I wonder if this is all the guy who owns the artwork. Oh, full length mirror. And finally, master bedroom. Another awesome piece of artwork going on in here. Love this. Yeah. Pretty happy with the place for £10 a night. Ten pounds a night. We found this on Airbnb. Cute little bathroom and all. Another long mirror and some ladder for some reason. Oh, and look, a little balcony. Better not go out there, but cool, eh? I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty darn happy. Woo, let's go fill our bar up. Yeah, I can say that. <laughs> Do you think this is all his art? Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison. Have you seen all the Hendrix, Mercury, Amy Winehouse, everyone? And Kerrup. Oh, what are you breaking? <laughs> I love it. Best kitchen we've had since we've been away, I reckon. Mate, buenos dias. We've been learning Spanish whilst we've just been chilling, waiting in the flat for our suitcases. Oh, stink. Hi, Mr. Green. <laughs> So it's Tuesday today. We spent the last four days just chilling in the apartment because we had no clothes and it's really difficult around here to buy anything. We're really like deep in the heart of the old town. It's like mostly locals. So there's just really little shops. Like you can't even buy shower gel. Yeah, we've just been chilling on this veranda, learning some Spanish, playing with my rabbit. There's a massive TV in there, so we've actually just binged The Walking Dead for the second time for the last four days. But yesterday, we got our suitcases back. Thankfully, Iberia put them onto the next plane, uh, which was a couple of days later. So we've got new clothes. We're so happy. And we are going to go and take a walk around the old town and see some of the historical architecture. in the club. This far up the church we began to feel quite short of breath and a little bit dizzy. I hadn't realised but Quito is 2,850 metres or 9,350 foot above sea level. It is the second highest official capital city in the world and the closest to the equator. The locals recommended we drink this cocoa tea leaf to deal with the altitude sickness.
Guys, so made it to the top of, and I'm gonna put the name in here because I can't pronounce it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it was so scary actually getting to the top of here. Um, I think the altitude, we're like 9,000 feet up already in Quito. And then you had to go up an elevator, then them tiny stairs to get to the top. I am really scared of heights right now. No worries. What was that for? The TV. Oh, cool. For the TV Ecuadorian. Yeah. Is tourism coming back? Sure. Brilliant. We're in the middle of the church and um, just went on Ecuador TV. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it to the clock towers. Can you see them? No. Where are they? <laughs> We're here. So this church is lovely, but I wouldn't recommend it if you're afraid of heights or steep stairs. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit awful. Aaron wants to come back. Maybe like sunset to get some photos, but I'm not doing that again. <laughs> So guys, thank god, I don't know if you could hear that or see that, but we got back just in time. There's like an entire thunderstorm going on right now. When I was taking the footage for these vlogs, I hadn't really thought about starting them or finishing them. For my channel, I'm just used to having something on a tripod and filming my gym exercises or talking to the camera. So do bear with me, I know that the footage has been a little bit shaky. I'll get better at zooming in on things and walking and talking. So I'll end the vlog here, this is the greenhouse keto at night. I'll leave a link to the Airbnb in the description box below for anyone who wants to stay there. As you can see the apartment was awesome, although the location was a little bit dodgy. We couldn't leave the apartment after 7pm or nightfall. So if you do want to go, just be careful, but it was a great place to stay. Tune in to the next video guys while we're still in keto. We go up the world's dodgiest cable cart to the top of a volcano and we visit the middle of the earth. Thanks for watching, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.